Yo, what is going on my husbandos and my foos? My name is Hermzar and welcome to another live reaction review of Demon Slayer. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. In the last episode, Tanjiro was left to do his first mission, which is to find out what happened to all those missing girls. And what we find out is that they've been already eaten. Now, one girl is being taken and Tanjiro's whole mission right now is to protect her. It really sucks that homeboy's girlfriend got fucking eaten. That sucks, bro. And he got beat up by the parents? Anyways, let's hop into today's episode. Oh yeah, this bitch be grinding his teeth. This man took mad drugs. Nezuko comes in. Nezuko's about to join the fight. I know a lot of people were telling me also that it was bad that she got that she got hypnotized. Or one person was telling me. But I don't know. We'll find out. Don't spoil it. I'm still waiting for the song on Spotify, Lisa. It's not on Spotify yet. It'll probably come out. Usually when Lisa makes an opening, it comes out like on the 10th episode. So we gotta wait. Oh, Nezuko fucking going in, dude. She kicking these motherfuckers. I think she just has, like, she has superhuman strength. Now, she's not even human anymore. She has super demon strength. In terms of magic, I don't think she has anything yet. Maybe getting bigger. Oh, look how, look, look at Emoto, best girl. Oh, no, shit. Oh, she just hopping over it. Like, it's nothing. If anything, she's physically stronger than Tanjiro now. Nice. Actually, now that she's there helping him, this will be very beneficial for Tanjiro. How is he gonna fight underground, though? Does he have to hold his breath because, like, he's underwater? Oh, uh, it seems like a little bit more different than being underwater. The clothes of the girls, that's fucked up! They died, man. I've never met anyone that grinds their teeth heavily like that. Or, like, grinds their teeth heavy in general. There was thinner amount. Oh, see, he's been, he been training for this moment! It's been harder to breathe down there. Well, maybe he's not holding his breath. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, he has, like, water attacks. It doesn't matter. Our boy is out here doing the most. Is he going to create, like, a hurricane? It's all timing, too. God, the animation is so beautiful. Considering that there's so much going on, too, here. Water breathing. Whirlpool. Holy shit, he cut that bitch in half. Oh, and they're still getting cut as they're in that vortex. Dude, they just... Did they just get obliterated? Did they just disintegrate? <laughs> Nezuko! Nezuko is still fighting. Oh, she ain't playing around. Get the wind blown out of you, bro. <laughs> They're assuming that she got a lot of blood. Dude, Nezuko out here. Oh, shit. Yeah, they, she needs the Nichiren sword to honestly just defeat him. Oh, she got a cut on her head now. And the fact, yo, and the fact that she's not taking any blood from anyone, like any humans, she takes a longer time to regenerate. So after this fight, I can assume that she's going to be like in a deep sleep for, for a clean minute. Oh, cut off his arm. Woo! Angry Oni-chan! Aw, uh, you can tell that she's super excited that he showed up. Oh my god. There must be something in this guy's past. Did he just fucking cut his mouth oh muzan kitsubushi is is the guy that the guy that killed his family he's scared of him a demon scared of another demon there's a reason man i wonder how dangerous this man is i mean he is the big boss of the demons he is so fucking frightened there's something about this demon boss that we got to be worried about dang he could smell fear i mean that's the, the best way to just ease him from his pain from that shit I would have been just like, you should just tell me because I'm going to fucking kill you anyways. Yeah, Nezuko's fucking tired. Yeah, they didn't show him putting her in the in the, <laughs> in the the box. I want to see how it worked. How do you comfort someone in that? Damn, that's he's just hitting him with the fucking facts and reality. You know what? I hate that he's acting this way. What do you know about? He, homeboy lost his whole family. I hate... Oh, God, I hate that. Okay, I feel bad. Don't get me wrong. I feel bad, but when people play that, you're just a child! Because I get, I get that a lot. Even though I, I, I'm I older, I'm an adult, people still look at me as a child because I look young. But, I, oh, my God. I would have broken his arm. Fuck it. It's the red bow. I take that back. I'm glad the family beat him up. I understand the devastation, but he's just trying to, like, comfort you. Obviously! Look at him walking the daylight and he ha and he holds no grudges tanjiro is honestly he's a good boy tanjiro has been through so much dude like his growth as a person on the isn't that tanjiro's crow right there oh shit he big man he about to fucking find this guy 
Damn, he's getting mission after mission. Non-stop. <laughs> Ooh, this place looks really nice. It's like older Japan mixed with new Japan. <laughs> look, look, look at this guy. <laughs> it's the face of shock. Even in that sense, it looked really good. <laughs> that looks really good. That looks fucking delicious. Oh my god. Can you guys... We just gotta fucking appreciate the art style and animation of this. He's there. He's there. But he left Nezuko behind. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. No fucking way. That shit is fucked up. How does he fight that now? He has a child. Hey, fuck it. Hey, hey, that little girl got a... That little girl gotta, you know, become an orphan now because her dad's a piece of shit! Wait, can demons? Can demons? Yo, what if? What if homeboy is exactly the way Nezuko is, but rather than sleeping like Nezuko does, he eats them? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Right in, right in the open like that? He turned him right in the open like that. We saw it firsthand how it happens. That's a lot to take in. I wonder, like, I wonder what the technique would be to turn Nezuko back to human, or is it, or if it's even possible? Man, fuck this guy. I don't. That's wild, man. Fuck that guy. Let's talk about this episode real quick. Damn. I, I honestly, the fact that we're seeing him, I thought it was going to be so, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more of an adventure of him, of Tanjiro tracking down this guy. But I think the situation is like, I'm very surprised. I've been surprised lately with a lot of anime when we're, of course, being faced with the big bad guy. I mean, that's usually a typical thing that happens in anime where they get faced with a big boss. I'm assuming what the next episode is going to be is a realization that Tanjiro won't be strong enough to defeat him. This is going to be such a wild ride for Tanjiro because this guy right off hand we see it he scratches people and turns them into demons and that's how they transform but how will they be able to turn back that's the biggest question like what, what would be the technique this guy's obviously a threat how is tanjiro gonna face against that and the fact that he has a family what the fuck i mean that that just makes it harder for tanjiro he has a child, he has a wife. From my assumption, because what he did is that he was able to look like he has human hands, but then when his hands came out, it looked like demon hands. That's what I'm assuming. So it might be in the same level of Nezuko. What if Nezuko has that same power to transform people in the, into demons? What we know so far, at least, is that Nezuko, she doesn't have any special powers except the fact that she has super demon strength, I should say. <laughs> She's really strong, but it looks like with the fact of her, she doesn't have the strength to kill a demon yet. That's all on Tanjiro and his Nichirin sword. The fight scene also between the guy that grinds his teeth and, and uh, Tanjiro was really good. Phenomenal. Animation on point. Like every frame is good. UFO table does a, a phenomenal job when it comes to animation. That's, that's all I can say. And you could totally tell like the face is not Facial expressions are really strong in this one, but I feel like the highlight of emotion in this anime is in the eyes. The eyes display emotion the most, and that's even the same thing with movies. You could tell if a person is sad, upset, and even the sign of mystery in movies here in America, where if it's focused on the eyes, you could tell that there is a certain emotion being displayed. That one guy was telling Tanjiro, like, look, what do you know? You're just a kid. And you could see the pulsating tears within Tanjiro's eyes. You could tell that he was, he was trying to be as compassionate as possible and forgiving because Tanjiro lost a lot of people in his life. He lost his whole fucking family. And this guy doesn't know much. He was just assuming. And he once he realized it, looking at Tanjiro's eyes and feeling the compassion of his hands when he was moving it down from his shirt, he was like, he's been through the same thing that I have, probably even worse. And even his hands, you can tell they're all beat up. That's another sign of like the detail of this anime. The, his hands show the hard work that he put in just to gain, just to garner the strength that he has been through. He's handling the situation completely different than that other guy Tanjiro first fought, but the first demon slayer that Tanjiro met because he was just, rather than being compassionate, he was trying to uplift Tanjiro in a way of like, seek revenge. Don't fucking let depression get you. Whereas Tanjiro is doing it as like, you know, compassionate. He's like, it'll be okay. I feel like Tanjiro just wants to protect. And 
he's doing a phenomenal job but anyways guys that is my live reaction review of demon slayer if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe click that notification bell my boys and i'll catch you guys in the next one